All right, good evening, everyone. There are um, reserved seats up here that are no longer reserved. So, so come forward and sit in them, um, except for this front row. Please, um, people in the back, come forward. Again, there's, a, there's seats up front. So there's one seat here. Oh, someone's sitting there. Okay, there's two seats there. And I think there's another seat in the middle here. Oh, there's not, okay. I guess they're not, I guess, if, if no one's in this one, you're welcome to sit, I don't know. This is, a, this is an open seat. Okay, is everyone settling in? Like you were getting ready for a night at the movies. Uh, so my name is Serene Jones, and I'm the president of Union Theological Seminary in the city of New York. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to the first of this semester, uh, the first of 2017 events that we hold here called Faith in America. And these conversation events are designed to continue the long union tradition of bringing theological voices and the leading intellects of the day into conversation with the pressing social justice issues before us. Um, there has perhaps never uh, since uh, Niebuhr himself stood in this uh, place been a time when the work of union has been more important than it is today, as all of us, I'm sure, here in this room uh, reel from uh, the beginning of the executive orders and actions that are uh, calling into question the very foundations of our democracy. And there is a very important, indeed critical role for the faith community and for the community of spirit and for people who speak moral language and engage in ethical reflection to name what is going on in our nation as immoral, as decadent, as abhorrent, and to give clear and articulate grounds for making those claims. For in many ways, we are a nation that is beginning to lose its capacity to make strong moral and spiritual arguments, and the stakes have never been higher. Tonight, we have an amazing um, time together to both view in its premiere um, the film An American Conscience, the Reinhold Niebuhr story, it's going to be going across the nation and starting here tonight where many of the interviews you'll see happened. Um, Reinhold Niebuhr, for those of you who don't know, and I imagine you are only here because you do know, um, was an outspoken American-born pastor, writer, political activist, um, who to this day remains perhaps the most influential public theologian of our time. And he was very much tied to Union. He was a professor here from 1928 to 1960. He indeed has 122nd uh, named after him at the north edge of Union Theological Seminary. I'm sad to say that tonight we are having this presentation and discussion um, under the reign of probably the first president in the last 50 years who doesn't even know who Reinhold Niebuhr is, sadly. Um, we have a wonderful set of panelists with us this evening. Um, I'm going to, in a minute, invite the film's um, director up, Martin Dobermeyer, um, to talk with us. But first, I want to do a quick run-through of the panelists. As soon as the movie's over, we'll move into our panel discussion, and we plan to conclude by around 8.15. Um, so first, we're excited to have on our panel Gary Dorian who is a graduate of Union Theological Seminary, and most appropriately, he is the Reinhold Niebuhr Professor of Social Ethics at Union. And he carries on that tradition in his work in so many ways. Uh, his list of publications and books is longer than my arms can reach, 
but most recently he won the prestigious 2017 Grommeyer Award in religion for his book, The New Abolition, W.E.B. Du Bois and the Black Social Gospel. So we're happy to have Gary with us. Also on the panel, we have um, Andrew Finstuen, who served as the project director for the documentary. Um, he is the dean of the Honors College and interim vice provost at Boise State University, where he teaches a modern American history and the history of Christianity in America and the history of genocide and mass killing. And his first book, Original Sin and Everyday Protestants, won the 2010 American Society of Church History Brewer Prize. And our final panelist, um, leading public intellectual um, in the United States today who um, will be rushing off later this evening to uh, be on television commenting immediately on the um, announcement of the Supreme Court nominee from um, Donald Trump is uh, Cornell West. Uh, Cornell West is professor at Harvard Divinity School and he's Professor Emeritus at Princeton University and most recently, as of last spring, uh, Professor Emeritus of Union Theological Seminary. Again, he's written over 20 books longer than my arms can reach. That doesn't even begin to cover the scope of his voice and his presence in the United States today and indeed around the world. Among his many books, Race Matters, Democracy Matters, Black Prophetic Power, most recently, The Radical King. And apropos of this evening, he wrote the foreword to the new uh, version of Niebuhr's very famous and critically important Moral Man and Immoral Society, a study in ethics and politics. So that is our panel. And I'd now like to ask the film's director to join me up here, Martin Doblemeyer. Um, he is the founder and president of Journey Films, a film and television production company in Alexandria, Virginia, which focuses on religion, faith, and spirituality. He holds degrees in religious studies, broadcast journalism. He holds two honorary degrees. He has a regional mem Emmy. He's a three-time winner at the U.S. International Film Festival, a three-time winner of the Wilbur Award, and a seven-time winner of the prestigious Gabriel Award for Best Film on the Topic of Religion in America. So please join me in welcoming Martin Doblemeyer to the stage. Thank you. Thanks, Serene. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I just want to say, first of all, thank you for the invitation to be part of this series, Faith in America. I think um, it's, it's a ter I saw the lineup. It's a terrific series. I think on behalf of everybody who's working on this particular film project, we're honored to be part of this particular series. I think Faith in America is something we're going to need a lot of in the weeks and months ahead. Agreed? Um, but I also too want to say a particular thanks to the administration here at Union. Uh, I've been doing films long enough to know that when you invite yourself into a community of people and say that you want to do a film about their more iconic figures, no matter what group that is, what religious group it is or uh, center it is, um, the response to that request can go a couple of different ways. And in this particular case, this seminary had been nothing but supportive and inviting to us, our whole team, as we came in here day after day and spoke to everyone and uh, had a sense of trust and peace about what it was we were trying to do. I know a lot of that had to do with the fact that we were doing a film on Reinhold Niebuhr, and Niebuhr is such an extraordinary figure in his own right that they felt a sense of confidence, but I think the openness of this community to have us come in and do this um, said so much about the health of this particular community here at Union, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, I, I want you to imagine, going back now many months ago, the, I'll tell a little bit about how this all started, but um, I go in, I march into public television. Now, I've done 30 films on topics of religion, faith, and spirituality, but I actually walked into public television uh, to say that, uh, you know, I'm literally what they call pitching the idea uh, to public television about doing a film on Reinhold Niebuhr. And they had no idea who it was. And in fact, uh, they, they were actually, the folks were actually sitting there and they had printed out a couple of pages from Wikipedia so we could have a sort of a, an intelligent conversation for a couple of minutes. And, and I thought, well, I'm not sure if this is a good start or how this is all going to go, but in the end, 
uh, when we finished the film and brought it to them, it was just now a number of weeks ago, um, they were thrilled enough um, that they invited me to give a presentation to the national public television directors. And so this program is going to air nationally on PBS, public, public television stations, uh, the 1st of April, and I couldn't be more thrilled. And, and I think every once in a while you feel as though the timing is in your, in your best interest and it's all kind of happening. We had never, as we all got together many, many, many months ago, frankly, we didn't really imagine where we would be the 1st of January in 2017. But I can't think of a more timely topic uh, than the thinking and, and, and thought of Reinhold Niebuhr at this particular time. And how many people have said to me over these last weeks and months that knew we were making this film, it couldn't be more timely. So I'm thrilled that you all came out this evening to watch this film. It's a nasty night out, but I'm, grat I'm gr grateful that you all came out. We filled this room. It's a, it's a wonderful thing to see. So are you ready to take a look at the film? Okay. And then we're going to have a panel right afterwards. Thank you all so much for coming this evening.